Next week, I'm traveling to the RSA conference in San Francisco. Now, I have people coming up to me and say, traveling to a security conference is one of the most dangerous endeavors a person can embark on. You need to pack, survive for days, cross international borders, and make it home in one piece. Luckily, I'm here. I've read all the tips and tricks online that you'd need to know and distilled it into one video of pure awesomeness. You're welcome. Now when you travel, think OPSEC. That means think like Jason Bourne. What's your name? I don't know. Oh God. If you don't know who you are, then no one else has a chance of finding out who you are. Material possessions slow you down, so ditch the big check bag and hand luggage only. Don't take your own phone. Your phone is like a beacon shouting out to the world, announcing who you are, where you are, and what you're up to. Instead, buy a cheap disposable phone, also known as a burner phone. Now, you don't really have to burn it, but once you use it once, do throw it away. Hello, yes, I have reached here safely. Okay, bye. The same goes for laptops, tablets, or any other electronic devices. It's best if you take nothing at all, but if you do, make sure it's a burner. Don't take your favorite shirts or shoes either. If someone sees you at a conference in one of your favorite shirts, they can do that OSINT thing that is really popular these days and find you wearing the same clothes on the Instagrams or one of those other ticky tocky channels and identify who you are, thus blowing your cover. Best get burner clothes. Don't even think of taking a credit card. Only use cash. For extra security, make it burner cash. Never take an Uber or any other ride service that you can summon using an app. Hail it the old fashioned way. Then get it to drop you off four blocks away from where you're staying and walk the rest of the way, just to be on the safe side. When at the hotel, ask for a room on the fourth floor. That's high enough to be out of reach for parkour skilled thieves, but low enough that the fire brigade ladders can reach you in the event of an emergency. Assume your room is bugged and there are secret video cameras everywhere. So never get changed in your room fully. And if you do need to speak, put on a thick accent. At the event, keep your mouth shut. Don't tell anyone your name, where you work, what you do, or where you're from. Loose lips sink ships. Once the event is over, take all the swag that you gathered and give it to local charities, change your name by deed poll, and take no fewer than three connecting flights to your home country. That's how I roll. Stay secure, my friends.